Hey, Oni Joe here with another Oni review. Um, this one's gonna be on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. The beta was this weekend and last weekend. I pre-ordered, so I was able to play last weekend and play during the open beta. Um, there's a this this game has me feeling whole many types of different ways. So let's get to it. Some of the good is they toned down the um, thrusters, the exosuit boost stuff. No longer you're just flying around shooting people, so they take longer to charge up. And now you can just run and gun more now instead of flying around and shooting. Also, because of map design, some of the maps I noticed, uh, there's not, they don't exo boost all the time. Because it's close quarters you, you know, unless you're just flying around each couple of seconds so it don't even matter most of the maps are just straight either boosting slide is the only thing that's actually being used other than that it's mostly running gun and I like that day I like that um, they also added health bars to the game now you can see where your opponent stands health wise once you as soon as you shoot at them their health bar will pop up that's also cool and that's just about it, only on the good part. Now to the bad stuff. Bad stuff is they, the supply drops are still shit. Never really cared about them. Yeah, you got some decent stuff out of them, but at what cost? All that work just to get three calling cards. No one really likes that. Um, also, some of the rigs are overpowered more than the others. I know one of them is a robot. You run around and slap people into death well not slap them to death you slap them and they just disappear and the one i use is called ftl he flash steps literally flash steps there's an after image of him but it's so fast that you won't really be able to react to it unless your sensitivity is like on a thousand you flat i use it i use it and i flash that past people and turn around and shoot them i got triple kill like that once so i like flash through the room down the hall and all three of them just looking around shooting like I'm standing beside him but I'm way behind him and killing him and those are the only two I actually paid attention to other than Warfighter the one with the like flat cannon from Unreal Tournament uh, another bad thing is sniper rifles it seems like it's so easy to quick scope that everybody and their mama can do it there's literally a team of quick scopers and they like just run around like they're holding like a, a submachine guns and just quick scope everybody so easily and I'm like what's wrong with this this is a little bit too strong right now so other than that uh bad i don't really i don't think anything else is bad about it but i know some most people don't like it because it's futuristic blah 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 but hey it's call of duty times is going past and past they're making remaster for you enjoy yourself I'm gonna probably get both, of course, if I got the monies. But if not, uh, I'll just get Advan <laughs> Advanced Warfare. I'll just get uh, this one, uh, Infinite Warfare, for right now. So, my final verdict on it is I'm gonna get it personally because I like the competitive side of Call of Duty. But I say out of 10, I give it a 7 for right now. That's only the beta. Once the full game comes out, I'll do a more in-depth review, and I'll go over each merc slash payload, go over attachments, go over perks and stuff, and talk about the game on a deeper uh, statistical level. So other than that, uh, that's just about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Thanks for watching. Bye.